about to do the West Arthur's track and get my bag out. Are you excited? So my name is Mitchell. We're warm, it's sunny, we're prepared, hopefully. Maybe over prepared. Hello, Dean. Shoes going on, struggling, no balance. See you soon. <laughs> Warren, 37, looking forward to it. <laughs> Uh, I'm starting to ride. <laughs> yeah. so that itself is a miracle. After flooding my kit twice. Sorry. Hey, I'm Jesse. Not always this raspy. Don't, I just like it. Andy, safety first. <laughs> I think we're ready. <laughs> Can't wait. I think we look pretty ready. <laughs> All right, day one just begun, left at 9.30. Got about 18 kilometres heading through from Kewan Campground to Junction Creek. And then going to push the, uh, the double day up to Lake Sydney. And uh, weather is absolutely belting. Get a hand to it. come across about 11 kilometers of these sort of flats from Ewan Campground through Junction Creek for lunch. We're about to hit Moraine Alpha, the first 900 meter ascent. to our first summit this is Mount Hesperus we're about 17 kilometers in from our uh, from our start point on day one um, full 360 degrees the weather is absolutely incredible um, 4g copped a quick post time back home loving that that's probably the last of that It's 
like reflexology on the feet. <laughs> How you feeling, Derek? I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, leave me be. Thanks, bro. Kelsey and Mitch, uh, what uh, what was your big takeaways from today? I'm just glad that no one looks like they hate us. That's my highlight. <laughs> no one's looking at Mitch and I like we don't want to be our friends anymore. Leeches. I don't know why I thought that might be leeches. Yeah, yeah, it's still about leeches, uh, but no leeches. Yeah, no leeches. No leeches. Yeah. That, was, that, was my, that made them my highlight, actually. Dryness yeah. on the you guys, that was very highlight. welcome. <laughs> Hardest part? Making sure that people weren't annoyed by me. Dinner. <laughs> Coming up with constant conversation with Lauren. Dinner. 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 <laughs> yeah, fighting with gnocchi. Mitch over dinner. That is really the gnocchi. The gnocchi. Oh, you yeah. That was delicious. My highlight was the gnocchi. Take it back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Zero struggle whatsoever. <laughs> That's good. Too easy. <laughs> Any? I did the whole hike in these and I'm pretty you happy about it. Yeah. Optimized. yeah. Everyone <laughs> keep going through their own individual stretch. <laughs> We've got uh, Lake Cygnus to Lake O'Brien. It's only about 6k. It should be a lot easier than, uh, than yesterday. For one last breath, but I can't stop now. We all fall down sometimes, yeah, but that's just life. So cross my heart and hope to die, baby. I was born to Fight the fear when I feel like dying I'm trying to fly high but I'm not a pilot Can't deny it There's some days I feel idiotic Just a product of a system Where you're lucky just to make a dollar Two kilometers in We are enjoying today A much more everywhere There is incredible When things seem so broken It's hard to shine But I still try I'll be the last one when the lights go out, I'm down to one last breath, but I can't stop now. That's Mount Hayes that, uh, that we just had a crack at scaling. Just, like just see the track that comes down here and across this saddle. We've just come up. This is the path we've come down around here, through here. You guys are just scaling around this little knoll now. And then up. It's uh, a shorter day, but definitely got a bit on it. Be yourself down a lonely road. I try to find my way, but don't know where to go. It's hard to see your friends tell them adios. When you know them off like forever, now you're just a ghost. Ain't no way to show the code. It's yeah, I feel alone. Been single for a Halfway between like Cygnus and like Gabriel. It's been solid. Three and a half hours. <laughs> Well, we're day two. We traveled four ish kilometers to get to Square Lake. Hot in the sun, nice in the shade, beautiful in the water. <laughs> yeah, highlight of the trip so far is this lake. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we? We went all the way up and all the way down and all the way up again. We're up. We're up. First view of Lake Obron. This is the quintessential view that you see of the Western Arthur's Traverse. So Mountaineer Mitch, our humble mountain guide, tour of this uh, expedition convinced us to do one summit, and here it is. We are bridging the summit of Mount Sirius, at 1151 meters, one of the surrounding mountains. 
of uh, Lake Oberon you see down here. Just now we've reached the highest point we've reached on this journey. We can see right across the rest of the West Africa. Incredible. Got Waz over here just uh, staunching that view. And we have lovely Jesse here whose birthday it is today. Woo! It's a birthday summit. <laughs> Nothing ever shows depth on a video, but that is a sheer wall. <laughs> Dino down there is the first real exposure to needing to turn around and go backwards. What do you think of that section? That was the real deal, that's where the fun starts. I'm over this just walking for walking, and <laughs> <It's> so climbing. <laughs> Bring on day three. There's the, uh, the trip for the camera. And <laughs> Sunday. Yeah, yeah. There it is. Lake Oberon, we've yeah. made it. That was uh, seven and a half hours today with uh, with three uh, little side summits and side trips. That was extremely fun. What are we up to here, Jesse? We are How long does it take? Our nightly routine. Happy So I've got something for you. I hope you like it. It's about as light as I could get for you to take on and carry from now. Because <laughs> I'm not carrying it anymore. <laughs> so do not plan on carrying these anymore than today. Yes! One night. Ah, now it is. So good. Anyone want some chocolate? <laughs> <laughs> I'm the one. There we go. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Substantially uh, not as impressive as the last couple. Lake Oberon down there. Today we are heading to High Moor, near, near around seven kilometres, but uh, much more technical. So expecting slow pace, hauling packs, and uh, having a load of fun about it. Hopefully it's not too slippery. What do we got, Jesse? over one kilometre, 50 minutes. What do we got up here? The hole.
of a uh, sketchy section. Uh, Mitch is just uh, highlighting a summit, Mount Pegasus. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna give it a miss today. <laughs> Jesse's morale just boosted hearing that we're not doing the summit. <laughs> Scaling down here. Crazy. <clears throat> Jesse just staunching underneath the mega of mega rock face. What do you reckon? Epic. <laughs> Our path disappears around that. What an overhang and nothing to see here. Perfect weather for some lunch. The old tuna the third time. <laughs> it's still it's delicious. I still love it. So good. Well, the weather's definitely just turned. It's packed up lunch. 16 minute record lunch. No lakes to swim in. No need to get into this. <laughs> Such a variety of terrain from rocky outcrops that you scale around down into this uh, foresty stuff. Um, and they are an absolute godsend for these as handles. They are the most tough, resilient trees wedged into these rocks. And very, very good to have. Save that one. path today is getting significantly less defined, especially in this weather without being able to look ahead and find the, uh, find the path. Garmin Phoenix 5 doing its work, still on the Western Arthur's Traverse, very good sign. Coming on about maybe 2 o'clock, we've uh, finally started to get some view. No idea what lake that is, or the other one. The view because we've been in the mist all day in the uh, quite disorientated still not the park. Thanks to the outdoor gourd. Parmesan <laughs> cheese. Squizzo. Mm, oh, yeah. Just, just yeah. a relax for a beautiful vista sitting on top of the hills. So, <laughs> end of day three. What's your reflections? Today was cool. Um, we couldn't see the exact height that we were at so <laughs> therefore it wasn't nearly as scary climbing down all the slippery dippery rocks up there because we didn't, couldn't see where we were gonna fall. Got rained on wet weather gear held up that's nice we got pretty to happy. use it pretty, pretty happy, happy to use gear. the wet gear, weather gear. Yeah. Felt like good. felt like we were cheating doing West Arthur's <clears> perfect <throat> blue skies the whole time so today really <laughs> gave us the uh 
gave us the reality check that Tasmania turns on a dial. Look forward to it tomorrow. Yes. Yes, waiting for the sinus to so go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> It's, mm. uh, it's nine o'clock, still very light <laughs> outside and completely still in the clouds. Day four, just getting up, getting into our morning routine. Jesse's on coffee duties. Got the jet boil going. Got our delicious bircher. Made the night before by uh, just adding water to muesli and milk powder. What have we got today? It's another very misty morning, but I'm hoping that's just low mist for the morning, which has given me that that's correct. It's definitely going to lift by lunchtime, like you promised yesterday. Today we've got the beggary bumps and the infamous tilted chasm. Hopefully it clears up a bit so we've got a bit of a, an idea of what's going on. May help those of us with a bit of vertigo by uh, saving us seeing what's going on down there. Alrighty, looking forward to it. If you find the one, you should never give her up. I think it's the way life changes when in love, yeah. I surround my soul with the positivity. Yeah. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see. Yeah. Uh, These days I don't worry about Scaling around. Much. These I over think there. we should have some more fun. Tempting fate. The uh, sun looks like it's peeling out. So sunscreening up, shedding layers. Hoping for the best. Memory plane isn't that too far away from my hearts. Yeah, yeah. What have we got? <laughs> Pre staging and the beggary bumps. Pretty crazy. Today, High Moor was over the back of this. We've trucked around here, scaled along here, come up through this saddle, and then down through this here, which was Tilted Chasm. Now, once we got to the base of that, we've had to come back up, and this is why they're calling it the Beggary Bumps. Down here to somewhere, we have the girls taking the lead, charging hard before coming back onto this saddle and continuing our beggary bumpery ride. That is a false path. These uh, nice little cans here giving us a heads up. Yeah. Mm. I reckon. We 
certainly undercooked how much uh, water we'd need, so we're all on absolute rations at the moment. Just summited Mount Taurus, uh, about to head down into Haven Lake uh, for lunch on our fourth day. But in the background, we have such an amazing day. That is the traverse that we have just accomplished in four days. Six and a half hours, finally made it to Haven Lake. Lunch time. Last day, thoughts? It's gonna be a long one, but it's gonna be a good one. Sun shining. Sun shining. Final ascent before heading down to the plains, heading up to Mount Scorpio, about 1100 meters. And then 20 kilometers back to the car. Report, day five legs. I actually feel all right. It's, um, I don't mind the hiking. I'm gonna go with the camping buttons. <laughs> Final descent, heading on down. But I don't want to cry. Cause all we ever do is laugh it off. Fun is this? No, this is so Scrambling from up there, trying to get down there. No path, just lots of bumpy, rocky shit, and our knees hurt. And we stink, but there's beers at the end. And I can confidently say now that I think day one and five are <laughs> But two, three, and four are pretty good. Sorry, I'm so shallow. But I'm still looking forward to watching part two of Deathly Hallows with you. That apparently, via the GPS, 78.5 kilometres, 51 hours of time, and uh, some ridiculous ascent and descent over the last five days. Cheers. Handstand, but he's still nude, so someone just got fly eyes on the face. What is someone stone? Oh fuck, I haven't heard that word in the a while. The only people that are impressed by that sort of shit are really boring. Oh, I love that that's all on camera, that conversation too. <laughs> what have you found there, mate? Oh, I think my knees, my old man knees. <laughs> I'm just impressed with the fridge. I'm too scared to shit down. <laughs> Straight in at the thogs. Look at that. Why? Which one's worn? There, it's hot. Look at the fire. Look at him. Look at him. 